Before we begin this week's video, I want to thank Lufty Loon and Arcadia for one-time coffee donations. Thanks so much, guys. Hey, everyone. Misha B. Barkin here. Furries can be found across all websites and all different streaming and video sites, the biggest ones being YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. Now, while I've been doing YouTube for about two years now and have just recently started TikTok, <laughs> I'm very unfamiliar with Twitch and honestly live streaming in general. So Misha, you may be wondering, why are you making a video about live streaming tips if you don't know anything about it? To which I say, shut up, I'm getting there, jeez. Today I'm joined by the wonderful Casmut, whom is a friend of mine that streams a variety of content, with the two most common being fursuit making and super animal royale. Oh Jesus, go in there, fuck him up, yeah! We'll introduce Cass here in a second and we'll get to their portion where they will give you more tips and info about live streaming than I could ever hope to. So oftentimes I get asked, Misha, why don't you live stream? As stated before, I don't really know anything about streaming. Now I could do what I did with video making and just dive in and start. However, on top of not knowing much about it, I genuinely don't feel as though I'm super entertaining live, if I'm being honest. Being live and making videos requires a similar amount of skill and workload. However, these things are placed in very different categories. For example, I'm able to write out the script and plan what I'm going to say, record it, and take as many tries as possible, then edit and splice it all together with visuals, and boom. That sentence alone took like three takes. Streamers, while not having to deal with the editing portion unless they decide to make highlight reels or some other content, have to make sure everything goes right on the spot, live, and have to be careful in what they say and how they say it. You don't get to splice or cut anything down in a live setting, so if the game you're playing gets a bit boring, you yourself had better be entertaining. As stated before, I'm joined by the wonderful Casmut. Say hi, Cass. Hi, Misha. It's nice to talk to you again. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, thanks for asking. Look at us, pretending this is an actual interview and not pre-recorded. <laughs> Cass is a furry who streams various media on Twitch. They will oftentimes do suit work, play Super Animal Royale, among other games, or will just chill and chat for a casual Q&A. They also run the suit making studio known as Top Dog Studios, so be sure to check them out over on Twitter. Just from what I've seen, the quality of their suit seems really good, and they put as much love and care into each suit as they possibly can. Now without further ado, let's get to some questions and learn a thing or two about streaming. What do you normally stream? So I normally stream games, but I also like to stream my fursuit work. So I play games such as Super Animal Royale. I've recently gotten back into Roller Coaster Tycoon, believe it or not. But I also like to take some days to stream like my fursuit work or even like the pin artwork I get to draw for clients. What are some things you enjoy about streaming? What are some unspoken issues with streaming that you've come across? So something I really enjoy about streaming is that I get to interact with an audience in a live setting and although it's not in person it's really cool to see the variety of people i get to meet all over the world that just want to come hang out and watch me do dumb things on the internet i think it's very charming some issues though is that sometimes streaming can be very difficult or you can get internet issues midway through stream something goes wrong either with your obs or even twitch itself and then it kind of goes awry and could ruin your entire day and your entire mood if you're having technical difficulties. What tech or programs do you use for streaming? So I currently use OBS or specifically Streamlabs OBS for my streaming. I personally would say if you want to get into streaming, use OBS instead. It's a lot easier to work with and it gives you a lot more options for customization. I also use a voice mod to get different voice effects and stream avatars to put on the stream to uh, have the audience interact with their own little characters on stream. Um, for stream countdowns, I like to use an app called Snaz and I also use ViatoTube for my PNG tuber that I made. How do you stay engaging and entertaining to your audience? Staying engaged with your audience is probably one of the most difficult things because there's times where you might feel like you're not in the mood or you're unhappy and you just have to put on a big smile and make everybody laugh. I've had many days where I wasn't really feeling up for it, but honestly, just being able to stream and seeing the people interacting in my chat and just hanging out with people, playing games with friends really turns my mood for the better. And I think that helps like not just streaming by yourself, but streaming with others and having a good, um, oh, what's the word? Just like bouncing off your ideas with others and bouncing off your energy with others where it works really well. People really like that. Like I'm gonna give a shout out to my friend Eardog Zochi.
Um, I stream Super Animal Royale with him every Tuesday and we work so well together as streamer buddies and we're so chaotic and so insane when it comes to like the way we interact with each other that it keeps people engaged and it makes people laugh and I think that's the most important part is just trying to make people have a good time or keep engaged depending on what you're playing. Obviously when you're playing something uh, more lighthearted you want to have your audience be more lighthearted or if you're playing a game that has something really sad or really scary you want your audience to react that way too. It's it's kind of like how you want to it's like acting almost or it's like dancing or singing you want to encapture your audience in a way where you make them feel the same way you feel like you want to put those emotions into them and i don't know if that totally answers your question but basically i try to mesh well with the people i stream with and interact with my audience in a way where they know they're being heard and they know that i'm always seeing what they say and appreciating the things they do for me. Any other tips or tricks you've learned while streaming? I think one of the biggest things I've learned recently is to not consider your numbers as small or big or as like a number. When it comes to streaming, especially when you're first starting out, you're not going to see a lot of people and it can be disheartening at times. But I think the best thing to tell yourself is that that number is a person. Like that's a human being behind the screen watching what you do, taking time out of their day to watch what you're up to and if you have like what six viewers maybe and you're feeling discouraged just remember those are six people six people that you are entertaining that you are making laugh cry angry scared like they're people and even if they're not talking in your chat they're still there they're still watching you and they're still enjoying your content otherwise they wouldn't hang around so see your uh, numbers as actual people instead of just statistics because it'll make you feel a lot better about streaming trust me once again thank you so much to Casmut for offering to help with this video i hope this video was informative and gave some insight into streaming links to Casmut and their friends twitch channels will be in the description below like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!